Je vais vous parler d'écologie industrielle. How do we bring together nature and industry? After industrial ecology has been explained, we will see how to implement it. The project is based on a dual awareness increase in the 70s. First of all, we take from much from nature, too much water, too much natural resources, some of which are not renewable. Second awareness is that we reject too many wastes into nature, which nature can no longer biodegrade. The Fordist industrial system is responsible for the situation, and it was designed without thinking about the impact on the environment. Human corrective interventions are called end of pipe, which means they only try to solve the problem at the end of the system. And we have to redesign the whole industrial system to address the problem. And this is precisely the project for ecological industry, trying to redesign the industrial system by taking an inspiration from the natural ecosystem. As Lavoisier used to say, nothing is lost, everything is transformed. There are two objectives, reducing uh, extraction of natural resources from nature and decreasing the quantity of uh, waste released in the nature. Two objectives, four main principles. The first one, the most specific for industrial ecology, closing the loop of flows, water, energy, material, raw materials. The second one is how to decarbonate energy transports, and obviously we're thinking about the uh, energy transition. Third principle, trying to avoid undesired emissions into the atmosphere of uh, production processes, and finally dematerializing consumption, and we're thinking about uh, dematerializing things like uh, photocopying machines, which we no longer buy but only rent or lease. Therefore, the life cycle of a product must be redesigned so that the industrial system becomes an industrial ecosystem. The central idea at the core of the whole project is based on the fact that industrial waste can become a resource for a different industry. We can start with very simple ideas and then go towards a, a world in which uh, ecological industry would become the standard. An example. Let's say we have a monastery out in the country with monks who raise cows to produce milk and good cheese, and uh, this cheese is very tasty, except that they end up with a large quantity of whey. And they don't know what to do with the whey, and they don't want to release it in nature, they don't know what to do with it, so they ask a team of uh, engineers to design a system which, based on whey fermentation, allows the monks to obtain hot water all year round at a very low cost. A second example, a valley in the Alps. Um, metal industry which makes steel plates and needs salt to avoid friction between the uh, iron sheets. The salt has changed in its structure, but it still melts snow, and therefore a highway or motorway company buys the salt and uses it during the winter to melt the ice and the snow when it snows so that we can all drive to the ski resorts safely. Therefore, we have avoided extracting resources from the nature once out of twice. I have just told you about very simple systems connecting one or two players in the economical in the economic life. But we could think of real systems where symbiosis is the rule. For instance, in Kalundborg in Denmark, there are companies exchanging hot water, steam gypsum, sulfur. This is the most complex symbiosis ever achieved. And there are approximately 50 different plants or industries working together. And for more than 50 years, they have been in close relationship with each other. But what 
are the limitations for the implementation of industrial ecological in industry, which sounds very attractive if you listen to the examples I have just given you. Well, it means that the uh, relationship between the players must be perennial, must be long-term, based on long-term contracts, which is not the standard in the present model of the market economy. So why is it necessary for the relationships to be lasting? Well, first of all, because applying this model means that technologies must be changed. For instance, if you use as a resource waste produced by another industry, the material would not have exactly the same characteristics if you were to extract it from nature. Remember the salt being bought from uh, the steel industry. And also the companies become less mobile because they have changed their technological pathway. However, what might be a drawback for some companies could become an advantage for some local administrations, because when companies can no longer move away, the jobs they create on in locally are more perennial. So ecological industry can be conducted practicing business as usual with so-called eco-parks by designing together all of the human activities on a given territory. Industrial ecology is therefore neither a paradox, nor an oxymoron, nor a provocation. It is just one way to achieve sustainable development.